What's up guys? We're back today doing uh, an EDC update for February 2015. Um, I made a video probably six months ago. I don't, honestly, I don't even remember when it was. But it was my first uh, EDC video, you know, talking about stuff I carry with me every single day. Um, I've, I've hence, you know, changed a lot of the stuff that I've been carrying. And that's because, you know, after a while you become more comfortable with a certain amount of stuff. You learn more. You may not need as many things with you. And the one thing I've noticed about, you know, guys doing video updates and, you know, EDC stuff, they're, they're carrying a lot of junk with them. You don't, you don't want to be, and you know, and this is just from my perspective alone, in my opinion, I'm, it's cool to have the gadgets and the, you know, the latest and greatest toys and whatnot, but that's just all this crap that you got to carry with you. So, I mean, the more you, you know, the more skills you, you possess, the less stuff you got to carry with you. So, I just feel like, you know, it's a giant hankering the stuff that you don't need it may be cool to have you know four magazines on you at one time and three knives and you know whatever else it just to me it's more weight it's more stuff i got to carry more things on my person more things i got to remember which pocket is in what just a pain in the butt so i've kind of you know downscaled it a little bit changed a few things now and i realize this looks like a lot but i mean in in, in hindsight most of this stuff's going to be you know on my wrists or in a back pocket or attached to me somewhere. So let's just dive right into it. Um, like I was saying, this is just, you know, your typical paracord bracelet, little latch. Um, I actually, the more and more I've been, you know, watching TV and going out in the woods and doing different stuff, I noticed how important it is to have one of these. And I was watching this show the other day. I don't remember what the show it was, Alaska State Police or something like that. Anyway, they were, there was a, a lot of snow, and these guys were trapped out in the woods, and they had their snowmobiles, and one of them broke down. And they used their long johns to try to tie two of the snowmobiles together so they could drag it out of the woods, and obviously that didn't work. And I'm, to me, I'm thinking, you know what would be great for that is some paracord. And there you go, right there. I know, you know, that's just a, a very small example. But say, you know, they were out in the woods and they needed that, that something, that twine that had the strength to pull a snowmobile out of the snow and drag it back to home base or wherever. I mean, this is perfect. It's 550 paracord, so it's rated for 550 pounds. It probably will withstand more than that, but it's rated to 550 pounds. And this is about four feet of it right there. That would have been perfect to use for that situation. So, you know, this may look cool, but it's also very functional, and you could definitely find uses for this. Um, that would be my Bic lighter. You've seen this in my other video. Now, I got rid of the Zippo. I had the Zippo for a while. It was kind of a pain in the ass, to be perfectly honest. Um, one thing a lot of people don't realize about them is that you have to refill them at least once a week. That fuel in there, it dissipates and it just goes away. So you have to constantly refill it even when you're not using it. So I decided just to scrap that whole thing and just stick with the old trusty Bic. This thing, you really can't go wrong here. And this is the full size one just because I've, you know, I've limited the stuff that I carry. So I decided that it was worth the weight to carry the full size one as opposed to the mini. So yeah, it's definitely need one of these. You may not be a smoker, but you can always have use for a lighter. If nothing else, this could be a conversation starter, you know? You never know who you're going to be around, but you know, at the bare minimum, this is, you know, you have fire on you that you can carry with you. Um, you guys saw my last video, so you know what this is for. This is obviously chapstick, but you can use it for many other uses. A uh, fire extender, you know, using that to put onto um, a wound of some kind, maybe a blister or a sore, you know, to kind of help ease that. But uh, yeah, also this this can help extend your fire if you're putting on a piece of cotton or something like that. Acts the same way as fire tender. Love Burt's Beeswax. This is, you know, normally I wouldn't carry this just because of the bulky size and whatnot. This is pepper spray. This is Saber, just keychain pepper spray that I carry in my pocket. I carry this whenever I'm in Maryland, and I, I am in there pretty frequently, when I can't carry this. if you, you can't carry firearms concealed or open carry in Maryland. So I carry this as, you know, kind of a less lethal form of defense, but it's also, you know, a deterrent for people trying to mug you or if you, somebody wanted to fight you or something like that, and you can't carry a firearm with you, this is a great second option. Obviously, it's not going to, you know, kill anybody, but this will definitely, you know, keep people away from you. So that, that's good when you have to go into a state that isn't going to be as friendly with firearms. Um, a watch. I don't know the exact model, but it's a, it's a G-Shock solar watch. So it doesn't ever need to be, you know, the battery to be changed out. It just, you know, recharges on sunlight and, and it works pretty great, honestly. I would think it was 100 bucks. 
but well worth the cost, you know, to never have to change a battery out. And I always want to have a watch on me just to, you know, know what time it is. But also, if you had to do some sort of medical thing, you had to take somebody's, you know, pulse rate or whatever else, you're going to need a watch to, you know, count the seconds while you do it. So you always, you know, always need a watch. This is the Leatherman Wave, which you've probably seen in other videos. Functionality, it's great, blah, 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 blah. It's nice to have a multi-tool. It also has a blade on it, so there's, you know, two blades on my person, but... I mean, I use this for everything. You, this doesn't have to be anything tactical or whatever else. It's just, you know, good to have one of these just because you never know what you're going to need it for. If your car breaks down or, you know, say something happens to your tire and you have to pull the, the stem out of the, out of the plug, boom, right there. You got a pair of pliers on you. It's great to have a multi-tool. This is my new flashlight. I got rid of, well, I still have it, but I, I stopped using the other one. It was way too large. It was probably twice the size of this one. This one's, you know, pretty awesome. I'm going to do a video on this, but it does three separate, you know, brightness factors, and then it has a strobe on there somewhere. I'm not real sure how to get there. It is. Yeah, this thing's awesome. It uses this one AAA battery. I'm going to do a review on that later, but this one's so much smaller, so much lighter. Easy just to toss in the pocket and go. My iPhone. It's my wallet. I'm not going to get into too much detail. The only thing I can really keep in here, one, cash. Got to have lots of cash on you. Not, you know, I like to have around 200 bucks just in case you, anything ever happened and your card stopped working. Got a magnifying glass from Walmart that actually did crack on me. So, whatever. Still has the same functions, but, you know, this thing is well worth the money. It's fire. You know, whatever. You can use that for a lot of different purposes, but that was two bucks at Walmart. I have an old credit card that I no longer use that is completely wrapped in duct tape. That's, you know, probably, I think that was two feet, three feet, I don't remember how many, but there, you know, this is just duct tape in case you ever needed it for patching something or whatever else. This is my Spyderco Dragonfly, first generation. This is the one before they did that uh, pocket, the, what was it, the wire pocket clip, but I really like this one a lot. It's really functional. And, you know, I, I alternate a lot of different folding knives, but this one's pretty awesome. It has, you know, a ramp there and a ramp here, so you get some, you know, you can get a good feel, good grip on it. And it's just a nice little knife just to have a little folder on you, and I like it. And this is my m &P Shield. And it's pretty sweet. I'll do a review on that later, but I just like the, you know, the size, and it's really concealable, and I carry it inside the waistband holster. So, you know, you can carry it wherever else. Now, just clearing all that out of there. A lot of people, you know, carry a lot more stuff and they have a lot of different things in their videos. I personally opted to get one of these whenever I go on long trips. It is my bag. I got this at Walmart. It was like 25 bucks, but well worth the $25. I'll just say that right off the bat. Right, let me see here. Stuff I got in it. I'm just going to go over a quick... Let's see, I got another knife. This is just a, a, a Kershaw, um, a cheapy knife, but I put it in there because I didn't really have any other use for it. I got some disinfectant wipes. I like to have those on me. What else do I have in here? Now these I probably shouldn't carry, but I do just in case, you never know. These are not burglary tools. This is a lockout kit. You know, I use this just in case I ever lock my keys out of my house or, you know, if I'm locked out or something, I can have those on me just in case. There are laws in certain states that you cannot carry those with you, so make sure you check if you decide to put this in your bag because it could be considered burglary tools and you do not want to get caught with those on you because, I mean, I don't know what the penalty is, but you don't want to get caught with that. Aspirin with caffeine in them. Hand sanitizer. Not just for hand sanitizing, but also you can use that as a fire starter. My old flashlight, telescoping lens, but I still keep it on me because it's nice to have two flashlights. Another lighter. Let's see. Another knife that I probably don't need, but this is just a Gerber, another junk knife. Let's see here. Some live fire, which you guys saw in the last video. You know, just emergency fire that you can carry with you, a little tender. Our ferrocerium rod, mini one with striker. Let me get that back in there. There we go. This is a old 
holster, but it also carries my medical supplies. So just, you know, whatever else, I'm not going to get into that. But that carries my medical supplies in my bag. A fixed blade knife. You know, just carry that with me. I'm going to be doing a review on this later on. But, yeah, a fixed blade. Because you need a fixed blade on you, but I think it's kind of ridiculous that, you know, if you go out in public, you already got enough stuff on you. Like I said, you don't want to have to carry all this junk around. Uh, and I got another multi-tool in here somewhere. Let me see here. There it is. This is just a junky Walmart multi-tool. I got it for five bucks last Christmas. has a flashlight on it. It's actually pretty bright for what it is. It's got all these different, you know, utility tools to it. Five bucks. I was like, all right, fine. I'll just spend the money and use it for whatever else. Um, I like to keep a charger and pens on me. Just in case, you never know when you need to write stuff down. And a lot of guys, they go out and buy these tactical pens and all this stuff that looks cool. Those tactical pens are $20 at the minimum. I've seen a bunch of them online. They're $20. Why do you need that? You, if you carry a firearm or mace with you or a knife or multiple knives, why do you need that? That's just another thing you have to carry. So don't spend the $20 on a tactical pen. Go buy something that you can use every day that doesn't just you know look cool, but it's functional too. That's just the way I look at it. I'm a realist. And that's it, fellas. You got all my EDC stuff. And to be perfectly honest, I do not carry this stuff all the time. Like, for instance, this bag, I don't have that with me every single day. If I go to the grocery store, I'm not taking that bag with me. It's right down the street. And I don't foresee a need two miles from my house to have a fixed blade on me. If I, if I really need to, I can walk home and get one. If worse comes to worse, you know? That's why you carry a firearm or a folder because it'll hold you over till you get back to your house. Now, if I'm going out of state or I'm going within 20 miles of my house, I might consider carrying this bag with me. I do take it to work all the time. So, you know, it's nice to have that stuff, but let's not bog ourselves down with all this extra junk that you don't need. Just, you know, put it together, figure out what you need. Play around with it a little bit and try to minimize the weight. And you don't have to carry all this stuff. The more you know, the less gear you have to bring. So if you know how to use tools correctly and know how to you know improvise and adapt, then you don't have to buy as much crap and carry as much with you. So that was my little rant. Hope you guys liked the video. Um, like, subscribe, and comment, please. Let me know what you got going on. See if you want to have uh, other videos. Thanks.